So welcome back to another one of my videos today. And today I'll be showing you exactly how easy and quick it is to get your WordPress websites to load faster. And this without being a technical whiz, no coding, just click, click, click. So let's get started. So with everything being so fast and instant nowadays, nobody likes to wait. It's all about instant gratification. Heck, we don't even have to wait in queues to buy groceries anymore. And so that being said, statistics show that if your website takes three to five seconds to load, the probability of the users bouncing or closing your website increases to 90%. 90%. Get your site to load between one and three seconds, and that drops down to just over 30%. Now that's quite a big difference. To put things into perspective, let's look at two scenarios. Scenario number one, a slow website. So you sell a product or a service for $100. You get a thousand visitors and your conversion rate is 5%. Remember your site takes forever to load. So you lose 900 of those potential clients straight off the bat, no matter how good your product or service is. You're left with 100 at a conversion rate of around 5%. So your potential income is $500. So now let's look at scenario number two, a fast website. You sell the same product or service for $100, you get a thousand visitors. Your conversion rate is still 5%, but now that your site is loading faster, your visitors only drop around 30%. I mean, we can't win them all, right? So you're left with about 700 visitors at a conversion rate of around 5%. What you're likely to make now is significantly more than before. With the 700 visitors at a conversion rate of 5%, you're likely to make $3,500, which is seven times more than before. Now, this is just a very simple example just to illustrate the importance of a fast website in 2019. Now, before I show you exactly how to fix this, be sure to stick around till the end where I'll be giving you my free checklist on exactly what steps to follow. Now, this video is not about how to install WordPress or how to set up your hosting. There's a bunch of good videos already on YouTube that will assist you in doing that. I do, however, recommend you at least start by getting decent hosting, especially for WordPress. I personally make use of a site called Fast Comet. I use one of their VPS plans. Now, on the other hand, there's two other companies that I highly recommend for WordPress only hosting. The first being WP Engine and the second being Kinsta. Now, again, both of those come highly recommended, especially if you don't need VPS hosting. Now, with the WordPress engine or WP engine option, I'll hook you up so you don't pay for the first three months of your hosting. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial on how to get your sites to load faster in WordPress, I've installed exactly the same websites on two different subdomains. Both of them have Astra themes installed using Elementor as the visual page builder. And as you can see over here, I've already got them in GT metrics to show you what their current speeds are. So we'll be optimizing the one called Fast, dot project success mastery right so i'm assuming that you have wordpress already installed you have your website created and now you want to make the site faster i mean that's why you're here the very first thing that we need to go and do is like i showed you is we need to go to a site called gt metrics add our site and then do a scan what you want to do then is you want to look at the waterfall section as this will show you exactly where your problems lie as you can see over here my problems are my large images over here one of them is two megabytes in size and another one is 1.6 megabytes in size now in most cases images are too large or there are too many http requests or there's no caching so let's fix this as i mentioned in this case i need to add compression and optimize my images from there we'll move on to the rest now, before we do that, I highly recommend that you create a free Cloudflare account and adding your site on Cloudflare. Click in the link in the description where I'll be giving you the exact checklist on how to do all of these things. For the purpose of this video, I'll assume that you have already done that. So getting back to my website, I have two very large images. All I need to do here is reduce the resolution and then add some compression. Now there are plugins that do compression, but I'm old school. So I recommend that you make use of a site called TinyPNG. Again, it's free. So let me show you how that works. So we download the images, change the resolution to around 1000 by whatever the recommended height is. You save your image and upload to TinyPNG. Let the site do its thing and download the images once you are done. It goes without saying, but then you have to re-upload those images and replace your original images on your site with the optimized images. We're done with step one. 
So remember to do this for all of your images on your site that are too big. The next step is to install a plugin called Auto Optimize. It's free, so go on and install that from within WordPress and leave the settings for now. So after you've installed Auto Optimize, you need to install a plugin called WordPress. Now disclaimer, this is not a free plugin, and yes, there are free ones available, but simply put, nothing comes close to what WP Rocket does for your website. You've got things like quick setup, page caching, caching preloading, site preloading, gzip compression, browser caching, database optimization, google fonts, remove query strings from static resources, lazy loading, minification, defer javascript loading, cloudflare compatibility, cdns, and so much more. I highly highly recommend it. Awesome, so after you've installed WP Rocket, you've got to go back to auto optimize and change a few settings. Don't worry about the advanced settings, just focus on the basic settings for now. So all you need to do is enable optimize javascript code, check. Optimize CSS code check optimize HTML code check so we're done with auto optimize the next step is to go back to WP rocket and make sure you set the following settings on the first page don't worry about any of these settings under caching the only thing that I would recommend doing over here is setting your cache lifespan to 30 days save changes under file optimization we're not going to be changing anything over here we're going to leave auto optimize to take care of everything over here bloody hell that's such a difficult word to say auto optimize auto optimize bloody hell under media what we need to do over here is enable for images enable for iframes and videos what i tend to do also is i disable wordpress embeds as well under preloading all i do is i just add the following url fonts.googleapis.com and i save changes we're not going to be worrying about the rest of these things the only thing that i do recommend as mentioned before is enabling cloudflare so what you want to do is you want to modify the options and you're going to have to put your global api key in there as well as your account email and then the zone id as well all of those options i will show in the checklist that's available for download in the description below right so we're done the only thing left to do is to clear out the cache by simply going on wp rocket clearing cache and then what i tend to do also is go to wp rocket and i just do a preload of the cache now depending on the size of your website the preloading might take a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes so we'll just give it five minutes before we check the speed again right so let's head over to gt metrics and have a look and see what the performance is like now. So all we need to do is again, go to GT metrics, grab our URL, paste it in there and click analyze. Now, I know I said no technical nonsense. However, if you're still getting any defer passing or remove query strings errors, I also provide two very simple and easy to add scripts in the checklist, which you can find in the description below. I do not suggest installing any more plugins to fix this as loading more plugins will inevitably just slow down your website. And there we go. The site went from taking five seconds to load down to 0.6 seconds, 600 milliseconds. However you want to look at it, it's damn fast. It's a massive improvement. So don't worry too much about not getting any 100% scores. You'll just drive yourself nuts trying to figure it out as it starts becoming seriously technical. Now I really hope that this little tutorial has really helped you to get your websites to load faster in WordPress. Remember to download the free checklist in the description below, which shows you exactly step by step what I did to get my sites to go from five seconds down to 600 milliseconds. Subscribing helps me help you and so help me help you. Stay awesome.